hi this video is <laughs> i don't know why i clap this video is um how my parents reacted when they found out that i had an eating disorder um a lot of people are afraid of their parents like finding out so i just thought that this would be a good video to make <laughs> from my experience um when i first realized i had an ed um I ran to my mom, who never was really there to, like, support me or anything emotionally. I ran to her. I was like, Mom, I'm scared. I'm scared that I'm going to get sick. I'm scared that I'm going to get too sick and nobody's going to help me and I'm going to die. And I was like, please get me help for my eating disorder. And she's like, okay, listen, you aren't thin. And I was like, what? And she was like, you aren't thin enough to have an eating disorder. You're not, like, skin and bones. So, you're fine. You don't have an eating disorder. In fact, you eat too much. So, my mom obviously didn't react to it well the first time I told her, which was when I was about 14. Um, she uh, criticizes and has always criticized my eating habits, whether it's... I eat too much or I eat, I spend so much on food or I shouldn't even be eating, I shouldn't be cooking, I should lose weight, stuff like that. And, and recently she said she didn't mean anything by it, but I know that she was taking a lot of things out on me when I was younger. Um, but her behavior got worse after I told her about my ED. And I don't want that to discourage you from telling your families. But I knew when I told my mom what kind of person she is, and I knew that it wouldn't turn out the way that I imagined in my head, but I did it anyway. Um, it didn't broke my heart. Um, most recently, um, she's, she's treated me like this all the way up until my most recent doctor's appointment, where I looked at my doctor and I was like, I don't think my mom understands, and I just started bawling my eyes out. And my doctor was like, she, like, looked at my mom and she was like, do you understand what's going on? And my mom was like, no, I don't. And I was like, yeah, she hasn't even, like, Googled it or anything. So my doctor sat with her and talked to her about what's going on. She said, you need to care for your kid. Like, you need to give your kid some support. She was like, she needs you right now. You have to support your kid. And she explained what bulimia and anorexia and you know, all of that is to my mom, and my mom, like, took it all in, and then when the doctor went out of the room, my mom was like, I don't know why you do that. You're not fat. And I was like, dude, you call me fat, though, all the time. So, yeah, she, mom's not, uh, great with this. Um, right now, I'm hoping for the best, because that doctor's appointment was very recent, so I'm hoping she'll start giving a crap, but... Yeah, <laughs> that was a bad one. Um, I avoided telling my dad for years. Um, I only just told him recently. And he was like, oh, I already knew. And I was like, dude, you already knew? Then why didn't you help me? <laughs> so I was pissed off. And he was like, well, I had an eating disorder um, some years ago. And I was fat and all this and I lost a bunch of weight and I've always I've dealt with this forever and I almost died from it when I was little but that didn't make any sense for me because he told me that, that he almost died when he was little because of his bowel problems and my dad is a very giving person but he's a pathological liar I'm pretty sure and I don't mean anything bad by that because yeah, I don't think he like notices or if he could help it or whatever, but I don't know. A lot of what he says doesn't add up. So I just took that with a grain of salt. Um, we talked for like a half an hour maybe about it and I showed him and he was like, you need to get up to 140 pounds and you need to like quadruple your servings instead of one piece of pizza, you need to eat four. And I was like, okay. I'm not trying to be unhealthy. If I'm going to recover at any point, that's not the way to do it. And he was like, you need to text me every single time that you eat. And I was like, no. And I was like, I eat literally all day long. 
And he was like, no, no, I don't believe that. Text me when you eat. And I was like, mm, I literally eat all day, but okay. So I haven't texted him <laughs> because um, I don't think people understand. I eat all day, most days, like of the week, like four days of the week, I eat. Or maybe even five or sometimes six or seven. I eat enough food and I just, I eat, I find a way to get rid of it. Whether it be exercising, I wish I could purge still sometimes, but I also don't. Um, but exercising is considered purging, I guess, in a way. It's medically considered that, but it's not vomiting. But regardless, people don't understand. I, I eat enough, and, and my grandma even, she was like, you need to eat more, and people keep trying to offer me food and stuff, and I'm like, hey... I eat enough. I'm never hungry. I literally am, haven't felt my stomach growl in a couple years. Even when I fast, my stomach doesn't growl. I'm never hungry. I have cravings sometimes, but I just don't let myself give in. You know what I mean? And I cut my portions small. So it's not that I'm never eating and like crap like that, but he didn't understand that. So, but... He took it decently. <laughs> um, he seemed seemed like he cared. Obviously, my mom didn't, which is scary because that means he's gonna be watching me like a hawk. But you'd think that if he like cared, then he would have done something. I don't think that he actually knew. I think that he was just saying that because <laughs> obviously, um, yeah. So that's that's how my parents reacted. And just a bonus, um, when I, no, you know what, I was going to talk about my doctor, my very first time telling a doctor about my concerns, but I'm going to save that for another video. If you want to see my journey of being diagnosed and paid attention to, finally, then let me know in the comments, because it was wild trying to get somebody to pay attention to this. So, yeah. Alright, that's pretty much it for the video. <laughs> Subscribe if you want, and like it if you want, and share it if you have friends who are struggling, and, um, yeah. <laughs> Comment if you want to see my process of weight stuff with my doctors. Okay, bye.